There are actually some major concerns regarding the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event. Now this could just be me, but I have seen a couple of other people have these same concerns as well. So we know the 20th anniversary event is going to be happening on April 10th. We don't know exactly what's going to be announced, but we're most likely going to be seeing something related to future Kingdom Hearts titles, and overall it's also supposed to just be a celebration of Kingdom Hearts. We're getting a concert, a Q&A, it should be a good time for those who are lucky to attend. I'm sure this event will be amazing for those that do attend, and they're doing their best likely to make it a memorable experience for those that do in Japan. But the thing that does concern me is when they announced the date for this event originally, they said how we would be seeing some of the things that come out of this event, but at a later date. And that's the part that does concern me, mostly because there were a lot of instances where we did get a lot of trailers, a lot lot of maybe screenshots, news, whatever it may be, but it would be behind closed doors. And in a lot of cases, we will straight up just not see it for months or just not see it ever at all. This was evident in one circumstance where in the 2.5 launch event when Kingdom Hearts 2.5 originally released for the PS3, they had a launch event in Anaheim, I believe, and during that launch event, they did show a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff. Uh, we got early previews, I think, of Keyblade transformations that we wouldn't later see, some interesting designs. We also got to see the chess room and the concept for Cable Town. And I say we got to see it, but we didn't actually see it until, well, the game came out. Or until we saw Scala and Kylum in a trailer and people just put two and two together that, okay, this has to be Cable Town. There were also moments more deeper into Kingdom Hearts 3's development where we didn't get trailers immediately, but would later receive them like maybe a couple weeks, months later. And that's more so where my concern is because if we're all going to be celebrating this 20th anniversary event and we're looking forward to New Kingdom Hearts news, I personally do feel like since not everyone is able to just, you know, drop all their money and take a flight out to Tokyo to celebrate the 20th anniversary event and be there, the people at home are just going to have to wait for we don't even know how long. Maybe they'll tell us as we get closer to the event when everything will be released. Hopefully it's moments after rather than, you know, weeks, months. If it's days, I'll be a little fine but if it's weeks or months, then that will be unfortunate. There's been so many moments during the Kingdom Hearts 3 hype cycle where a lot of us would just be staring at Twitter, like looking at any sort of news we could find because we were like all just feeling the Kingdom Hearts hype. We know a trailer is out, we know a new footage is out, and we're over here reading tweets saying, oh, Remy was in this trailer, Ratatouille World, is it a world, is it a summon? Like we're trying to piece things together, and it's kind of fun like I do look at those times and it's a little nostalgic but it's also not the way I would like to uh, experience those things. I would rather like to just experience everything, you know, together. And I do think if it's a case, which I don't know if it will be, if it's a case where we don't receive the trailers from this event or we don't see all the news from this event until like weeks later, maybe towards the middle end of April, then that would be a little unfair of them to do that. And the only reason I show concern for this is because it has happened before. But I am hopeful because I have pointed out in previous videos like a year or two ago about how I do like the approach they're kind of taking with advertisement for Kingdom Hearts now. Now, of course, we haven't had a game as big as Kingdom Hearts 3 at all yet. That's what we're expecting the next game to be, something that is close to, you know, some of those titles. The last two pieces of Kingdom Hearts content we got, aside from Union Cross and Dark Road, have been Melody of Memory and Remind. But the way they advertised Remind and Melody of Memory, I think was done very well. With Remind, they mostly just showed us the Remind scenario, and then we got the final trailer where they showed a little bit of limit cut. We did see Yazora in the last scene, but the way they executed was so mysterious and perfect, and when I played Remind, there was still just a flood of content, this little DLC package that I didn't know anything about, that I hadn't experienced. We knew there were going to be data battles of all 13 of the organization members, and they didn't show us all of them. They kept ones like Shion, Master Zayn, or Secret and they were also secret in the actual limit cut episode as well. We didn't know if Yazora was going to be a boss fight or if it was going 
going to be, you know, just some cutscene, even though we expected it to be a boss. It was still a surprise when we actually saw the boss and we transferred ourselves into Shibuya. That was just so cool. That was an epic moment and they didn't spoil that. When Square usually has a tendency of spoiling a lot of things in trailers and in advertisements. And I hope they take a similar approach with future Kingdom Hearts games. But I do want them to show us what they can. I don't want them to like splice up information, you know, all over like these events where only some people can see it, you know, if you're an exclusive access member or something. Because there's a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans at home on the internet. The internet community for Kingdom Hearts is bigger than ever. And I think those people should also be able to uh, see things when they come out as well. I do understand that you want to make an event feel, you know, super special, give some of those people, you know, that first access look, but it's fine to just release, you know, everything from that event, you know, a couple of days or moments later. I feel like that shouldn't take away the value from being there in person anyways. It just makes things a lot more fun to talk and speculate about online. But those are just my ramblings, my thoughts, my concerns about the 20th anniversary event and the at a later date part. I could be overthinking it and looking way too deep into it but we have been through this before but i will say this the at a later date part they usually don't even do that usually they'll just say trailer coming here and sometimes we just won't on people online just won't see it we'll have to look at like phone recordings or leaks or something if anyone's able to do that but let me know your thoughts down below if you do think i'm overthinking it please let me know i don't want to like put in fake concerns in people's heads or anything these are just things that i do think are possible because it has happened before in the past and i just hope it doesn't happen but that'll be all for me thank you guys so much for watching my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out you guys bye now she's a daydreamer